Hi, how are you doing today? Thanks for joining me. In this video today, what we're going to take a look at is all the different voltages available in a multi-winding single phase transformer, as well as we're going to look at how do we calculate the current on our multi-winding transformer as well. So first of all, we're going to start off, we have a 2 kVA transformer, and we are going to set this up as a step-down transformer. So our primary side, which is our high side, is going to be 240 with the option of 480, step down to 120 with the option of 240. Okay, so one of the things we need to look at first is individually these coils have ratings. Okay, because it's a 2 kVA transformer, that means that each one of the coils on the primary side is rated for 1000 VA. Regardless of how we connect this transformer up, whether this connection is, seri connection is series or parallel, I'm still going to be able to add up those 1000 VA and 1000 VA to equal my 2 kVA or 2000 VA. Hey, it also means that each one of these primary windings, because it's 240 volt with the option of 480 volt, each one of these windings is also rated at 240 volts. Okay, I can apply this down to my secondary side as well. KVA in equals KVA out. Each one of these secondary windings also has a rating of 1 KVA or 1000 VA. And because it's a 120 with the option of 240 on the secondary side, each one of these coils is rated for 120 volts. It's all in the connection how we achieve that secondary voltage. So let's look at that. Okay, If I take my primary side and I have 100, sorry, 240 volts and 240 volts, if I was to take this and connect it in series, one little jumper right there, I end up with 240 plus 240, I end up with a primary voltage of 480 volts. If I was to do the same thing down on my secondary, one little jumper right in there, I have now 120 volts plus a second coil of 120 volts, I now have 240 volts. And what we end up with here is a 480 step down to, sorry, 240 volts. Okay, it's a little messy there, sorry, but that's 240 volts. That's our first option. We're going to reconnect this now. We're going to get rid of this series jumper down here. We'll leave our series jumper up in the top, which means we're still going to have 480 volts, 240 plus 240. But what we're going to do now with our secondary side is we're going to parallel this. And what that does, if I have two voltages paralleled with each other, I end up with the same voltage. So now I have 480 input because of my series connection, but I have 120 output because of my parallel connection. And we end up with a 480 step down to 120 volt transformer. Okay. And we're going to reconnect this again. But this time we're going to get rid of the series connection on our primary and see what happens when we parallel it up. If I parallel my primary, I now have two 240 volt coils in parallel and what I end up with is 240 volts here. I've left these in parallel, I end up with 120 volts here, and now what I've created is a 240 volt step down to 120 volt. Okay, the last connection that I'm going to look at now is what happens if we leave our secondary side connected in series. All right, so if I do a series connection on the secondary side, I still have 240 volts on my primary side because of my parallel connection. And now because I have a series connection on my secondary, I have 120 plus 120. I end up with 240 volts on my secondary and I end up with an isolation transformer where I have the same voltage in as out, different applications for that. Okay, so 
There's the different voltage combinations. Really, when we see this 240, 480 step down to 120, 240, what that means is each one of those coils is rated for the lower voltage, but we have the option of the higher voltage with a series connection. Okay, because the next thing we're going to take a look at is how do we calculate the current in each one of these? What is, what is the current that we can expect out of this transformer with different combinations? So, I'm going to look at it like this. We have our primary side. And we said we had the option for two different voltages. Let's look at our series first. Okay, my series connection is going to be 480 volts. I have 480 and 480. Okay, there's two ways of looking at how we can calculate this when it's a series connection. I know that I have a total of 480 volts and I have a total of 2,000 VA. 2,000 VA divided by 480 volts on my primary gives me a rated primary current of 4.167 amps. I can also look at this, this sorry, as individual windings. I know that this winding right here has a rating of 1,000 VA and a voltage rating of 240 volts. Okay? 1,000 divided by 240, 4.167 amps. Again, and it makes sense because it's the same. It's a series circuit. Ignore the parallel here. If we have this connected in series, I'm going to see the same current everywhere. This just proves that we have the same current whether we use our total 2,000 VA divided by our total series voltage of 480, or we use an individual coil of 1,000 VA and 240 volts. Okay? Let's connect it in parallel. Let's talk about our parallel. That's how we've got it connected right now. Okay, our parallel, we have 2,000 VA again. That is my total rating of my total transformer divided by my parallel voltage of 240 volts. Gives us a current of 8.33 amps when I've got it connected in parallel. If I look at it again as individual coils, I can say 1,000 VA divided by 240 volts equals, well, it's 4.167, but remember what happens to current when we have parallel connections? It's additive. So we actually end up with times 2 equals 8.33 amps. So again, however you decide to calculate the current, if you use the total VA, divided by the total voltage on the primary, or if you use an individual VA divided by the, vo the voltage rating of that winding and then multiply it by two because we're connected in parallel. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the secondary side here as well. We have, we're going to talk about our series connection first. We have a series voltage. We have 2000 VA divided by our series voltage, 120 plus 120 of 240 volts gives us 2,000 divided by 240, 8.333 amps. Or we can look at it individually. I can say 1,000 VA divided by 120 volts gives me, again, 8.33 amps. And that same current would flow through all of this series connection because of well, Kirchhoff's current law, however you want to look at that, we have the same current throughout that series path. Okay, so that's our series connection. Our parallel connection, we're going to do that over here. We're going to use a different marker that works. Our parallel connection on our secondary, okay. If I was to remove this and do our parallel connection here, okay, again, we can look at the total. We can say we have a 2,000 VA transformer divided by our parallel voltage of 120 volts gives me a total current of 16.667 amps. And again, I can look at individual coils and say we have 1000 VA divided by 120 volts equals 8.3. But again, because of this parallel connection, what we end up with is an additive current and we actually end up with times 2, 16.667, okay? So again, total rating of this transformer 
Both of these coils together is 2 kVA. Individually, 1 kVA. Each one of these coils is rated for 240 volts on the primary and 120 volts on the secondary. It's that connection of either series or parallel that changes our voltages up, which ends up giving us different currents as well. Hopefully this has helped with some of the multi-winding transformer connections you could encounter, uh, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.